Hello, everybody, and welcome to the finale of of Apuna. This is only the second time I've made it this far in the game. I don't remember too much about it. Before, well, in the last video, I was considering finishing up um, some more of Apuna, like the dictionary or the rogue, the rogue journal. You know, highlighting all the different enemies you can fight. The thing is, uh, when I checked online, it seems as though some things in the dictionary are missable, or can be missable. There's a, there's a chance that I might have already flubbed it up and am unable to, to finish that dictionary. If so, well, it, it kind of sucks, but, you know, there are things online to, to know what I missed. And if someone's really curious, they can check it out there. One website that comes to mind is Delstar. Um, specifically the, the channel for Apu- or not the channel, the, uh, the webpage for its Apuna section, right? Its guides. It's, it's surprisingly well made and, well, yeah, surprisingly because this game doesn't get a whole lot of, um, exposure. Not many videos on this on YouTube other than like a 10 minute playtime or the first hour of Apuna or a person's review or the trailer. I mean, there is a speedrun of this game and uh, like a German Let's Play or or a European Let's Play. I'm not entirely sure if it's German. I, I just saw the writing and just assumed. So let's just dive into the finale. I actually don't remember much. Like I said, this is the second time I've made it this far. There we go. I can now move towards the camera. My camera, not my camera, but my my controls were bugging out on me. And I kept I kept going back and forth into the elevator so many times. Of course it had to happen at the very end, right? No issues until the very end. So, the game plan is to get to the Dark Burrow. But how do we get to the Dark Burrow? The question, or the answer is, through the sea. We're gonna sail through the sea to get to the other side of the planet because the sea, you know, still connects to the other side. The side that's been impacted or affected by the comet that has created all these rogues, this dark energy, this this, uh, I think, I think they revealed that the Dark Comet was a Dark Bonbon. And, you know, half of this planet is encased or, you know, surrounded by darkness. Okay, so to get to the Dark Burrow, the game told us that we need to get there by the sea. The only way we can do that, instead of, uh, taking a ship, you know, to... Or like a like a battleship to protect us while we go there. We are gonna do it by uh, <laughs> by riding the bike or the but the bikes the backs riding the backs of the orca fin. Yes, the dolphin like creature of the Apuna world is gonna take us deep in the um, dark side of the planet. Uh, call it ridiculous, but it's also a way to get there unseen, you know? But it's still funny imagining all three of the siblings, Apuna, Kapuna, Polina, on the backs of a dolphin, of an orcal fin, into the most dangerous part of this entire world. So now, I would say we're ready for, for the end game. We're, we're pretty, we're pretty strong. We also did the, the five star ranger, ranger job. So now we are just absolutely amazing. A champion of peace who understands his own abilities. 
I don't think this will be a long part, but I've said that before, and the parts just kept getting longer and longer. I hope this part is gonna be, you know, very clear, direct part showing the finale, the final section of the game. Because one, I don't want a long session. And two, if anyone decides to skip from part one all the way to the finale to see, you know, the, the high point of the game, they don't have to go through so much content, right? So here's the Orcrafin. Still having trouble saying it. So if you have the King of the Seas license and are protected by the Light Aura, it's possible to dive down to the Deathlands with the Orcrafin. That sounds like a good idea, right guys? Uh, which do you choose? The cave near the shore of Pirate's Valley or the deathly dive into the Dark Burrow? We're gonna go to the Dark Burrow. And off we go. Orcofin is sort of like a... Well, I, I guess it's... From the name, you can guess. A mix of a dolphin and an orca. Never really put two and two together until I paid attention to... <laughs> to its design. Can can Tizians breathe underwater? Is this a is this a fact? Oh no, we have the uh, we have the dolphin rock. That's why we can do it. We walked underwater just fine before. That makes sense. The dark burrow. Look at that. Seems a bit quiet. I'm gonna raise the audio up. Oh, this place seems scary. Oh, laser beams. The game audio does seem a lot quieter. I wonder if that's because of my own settings. Oh, it's because I raised I raised the wrong. I raised the wrong soundboard. Oh, it's it's playing a remix of the of the theme song. Phew, we're finally done setting it up. We just need to wait for Apuna now. Ah, Apuna, did you just get here? Okay, so it looks like it's this character's official name is Tronk. Oh, Apuna, I'm sorry I left without saying anything at that village. I heard about Criola's hideout in Shagla from the village chief, and I just had to do something. Anyways, we were able to set up the warp hole without any trouble. We were able to set up the energy cocoon option we got from Chaika and Roidman, too. It may be the first time for you to hear about this, Apuna, but we are able to change the power flow of the energy cocoon. If things work properly, the power that would normally go to the Dark Bonbon will be redirected from those in the cocoons to their friends. In other words, you guys will get it. This device that Chaika developed need only be set in the first cocoon. From there, it will circulate to the others. That's why even we could set it up. And also, I carried a save stand over too, so please use it. Well, Noix, let's get down to business. Apuna, if you go through this warp hole back to the hideout, then the next time you and your partisans will be able to get through this warp hole, but your partisans can only get through this hole if you are with them. When you arrive, the partisans will be sent immediately to their individual energy cocoons. Apuna, you may feel bad for the partisans, but you must master your feelings and fight. Without that kind of mastery, you won't be able to defeat Aizel or Babushka. All Noix and I can do is protect this warp hole. I'll do my best. Good luck, Opuna. Opuna, you may feel bad for the partisans. Okay, thank you for repeating it. Repetition is very important. Okay, but too much is too much. <laughs> you know now, right? It wasn't an accident that the spaceship crashed. It was attacked by Babushka and Aizel and their followers. And what we know for sure is that if we can bring peace back to this planet, your father and mother will be saved. Opuna, let's return to Tizia with Captain Dedina. 
So I'm gonna save here, just in case we get absolutely destroyed by the enemies here. I'm gonna go on our hover jet, and let's let's just use the the teleporter. I'm curious, are the partisans gonna be at the hideout? That would be really cool, a really nice detail if they decide to do that. I'm kind of skeptical, and and I'm gonna say they they didn't do that, and that we're just gonna see them in the energy cocoon. Oh, we were able to pre pierce through the warp hole. Now it's time for the final fight. Opuna, you're our, our hope. Good luck. You are our hope. Good luck. Let's see. I wonder. Okay. I'm raising the volume up. Just, just a smidge. Just so I can hear it a bit more. Even this place has a uplifting version of the main theme song. Never really noticed it that much. Hello. Thank you, Apuna. Fontaine's people are certainly the followers of Shagla. Okay. So it looks like nothing really new there, which is a bit of a bummer. I always like, <gasps> hang on. I spoke too soon. This is great. This is great. We can see everybody here. Oh, wow. All the partisans are here. You're not a partisan. Roydman is at Intelligence C. He says he's only tying up loose ends now that the project with Chaika has been completed. Wow, everyone's here. Nikita, Masoltis, Mendel, Joey, Ted, Masao. I'm gonna talk to, talk to, I'm gonna talk to Nikita first. Hello. Be careful, child. I feel chilled here. I wonder why. It's, it's probably because of what you're wearing. Hmm, what do you think? Don't I look cool today? I dressed up more than usual. Very cool. Sorry. I was praying for those that have passed away. I have my regrets. If only I had known how the dark energy is created. I would have able I would have been able to save Rosa. I need to make sure there are no more that are sacrificed. Yo, friend! The boy that recovered from an incurable disease is now ready to fight for his friend. By the way, Opuna, after this fight, what are you... Never mind, we'll talk about this later. I'm weak. Maybe I should leave. I'm just kidding. Haha, <laughs> I won't leave now. I want to end this fight so Shagla can relax and enjoy his life. Well, that's a lie, but it's me. The liar saying it, so there's no mistake. You can believe it. Opuna, are you worried? It can't be helped, can it? Leave the energy cocoon up to me. You must go forward, without wavering. Now it's time for the final fight, Opuna. You are our hope. Good luck. Please send your partisans here, not the Orkofin coast, when you plan to move to the Dark Burrow. After passing through the warp hole, your seven partisans will be sent to their individual energy cocoons. Are you sure you want to take these seven partisans with you? Yes. We're gonna go and save this world. We're gonna do it. So let's go. The dark burrow. I wonder how far into the planet we are. Force carpet. Well, it would be nice if it gave something more substantial. It's really nice that we can we can defeat these enemies in three hits. Yeah, this this feels a lot easier than than the server room, which means. We, we did our job in preparing. 
We are ready. Okay. We're gonna head up and see our first energy cocoon. I wonder what it looks like. Oh, I should have checked and and bought more healing items. Oops. They don't have TV here, do they? That would be ridiculous. But they do have all this... They have force carpet, so we can heal ourselves. It would be nice if there was another save stand and a uh, health station, but I believe that's the that's the last one. Wow, look at this. This place looks artificial. It doesn't look natural. Hey, Mendel. So that's an energy cocoon there behind us. I'd been imagining something a little more good looking, not something as sinister as this. It's like a it feels like it could open up a portal to to the to a dark world. This is not something that is needed on a peaceful planet. We need to sever the source of this evil quickly. Mendel's the first up. Oh jeez. Oh gosh, I feel awful for him. Oh, all the partisans are going to go through this. Don't worry, Mendel. Apuna and his group have been enveloped in an aesthetic light. Apuna and his group have increased their FP by two points. A hideous voice echoes from somewhere. It's just as Babushka said. She said that humans would come walking into our nest. Haha. <laughs> But fine, let's see how you do against me and the strength of the dark. Is it going to be a, a boss fight after every fight? That would be ridiculous. Gosh, it's like fighting the first boss again, but in a more intense version. Okay, so it looks like flame heads aren't affected by Kapuna or Polina. Well, it, it felt like it wasn't like that for, for, for a few seconds there. It looks like it's okay now. I think, I really think, we might end up having repeat uh, fights against bosses for this. Do not worry, go on. Ah, oh, he looks like he's just agonizing. We'll just have to keep on going. Hang in there, Mendel. All right, Masaltus. We saw how a smaller character is in the energy cocoon. I wonder how the biggest character would do inside one. Hmm. Not a single tone is coming out of that energy cocoon. The murmuring of water, the whoosh of the wind, the chirping of birds. Sounds which should be here can't seem to exist in this world of darkness. In a monotonous world like this one, new music cannot be played. Arpuna, I will open the path for you. You will make it to the deepest room of this dark burrow. There's two ways I can go. Left and right. I don't know which is the right way. Looks like it's left. What's at the right? 
Apuna and his group have been enveloped in an aesthetic light. Apuna and his group have increased their FP by two points. A hideous voice echoes from somewhere. Die! These guys aren't so bad. At least... Okay, I think these... These leviathans are different from the other ones we saw at the beginning. The beginning of the Dark Burrow, anyways. They're a lot stronger. Oh gosh. What if... What if we're not ready? The game... The, the game... The fights... Get a lot easier the further along you go. Less and less energy, less and less enemies to deal with. I'm wondering if we'll get to level 40. That would be something. When did Apuna have this much health? I'm gonna check out what's here. What is this? This is different. Doesn't feel like I'm going the right way. <laughs> what is with these enemies? It sucks to have to run back to heal, but I might do that. Evil 4. This is interesting. Seeing all these enemies. These guys are strong. I can't imagine just how awful this would have been if we didn't do the 5 star license. Thank you for the tent. I might use it. I'll likely use it. What is here? But then, what was the other way? What? Then what was left? Alright. It's just as I thought. I knew that if I went to Tizia, I would find expressive art. Do I have to go back? This art shows the true expressive content. It's so very, very well expressed. Well expressive. Haha, <laughs> and it is I who found it first. Me, Masao. Well, Masao is interested in dark energy, so let him taste the full brunt of it. What if the game wanted me to to follow a certain path, and I've just completely ruined it. Apuna and his group have been enveloped in an aesthetic light. Apuna and his group have increased their FP by two points. A hideous voice echoes from somewhere. Ha ha ha. Crazy bottle. What kind of creature is that? <laughs> what? One hit and that thing goes toppling down? Oh yeah, we need to heal. We need to keep an eye on our... On our health. Well, this guy's strong. Let's, uh... Let's go for the crazy bottle. At least I know we can beat that. Oh, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. It's, this this robot is taking a lot of hits. Opuna's already running out of um, FP. What the heck? Is it because I'm using double high all? It adds up so quick. Thank you for the pocket dance. Oh, 
Ouch, didn't even talk to Masoltus. Ouch, ouch, express. I E I O U. Well, I'm gonna go down and talk to Masoltus. And I wanna go the other way. No, no! Masoltus clenches his teeth and resists. So, what is this way? I... Oh, at least these bug ninjas are easy. That is nice. We are just getting absolutely hammered here. Oh, dead end. Who would have thought? Whoa. My heart for a moment clenched up because I thought I might have activated like a like an event like something would come up from from that broken part of the area like at like a super boss which you see in every modern JRPG game right it's like it's like tradition Okay, so we see Maso. This place is a maze. Okay. So... This is kind of a good thing. It's not as confusing as I thought it would be. I thought I had to go and find all the partisans on my own to make sure I got all the, the power-ups. But that's not the case. It looks like it's a bit linear which helps me out. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Hmm. Already. Oh, we're topped off. But Opuna is rapidly... Oh no! We don't have enough for... For the spells. Please, let me buy... Amazing things. I might have to use... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna use a tent. I'm gonna use a tent. I wanna make sure everyone has full FP... And everything. Opuna, finally, you've come. You're still so slow. Gotcha! You've been so far, all while I was laying sick. <laughs> all while I was lying sick in bed. I can't read. It's late. Listen, you don't be going off to some place and leaving your friends behind. I'll disown you, I will. Remember that. It's a promise. So this thing behind me is called an energy cocoon, huh? I don't fear any sort of pain this thing could dish out. Whatever it might be able to do, it can't be as bad as running out on a friend in a pinch. That would be true agony, and last as long as I lived. Opuna, we will meet again. Remember, that's a promise. Opuna should feel a bit guilty for dragging young children into this as well. Ted just recovered from his incurable disease, and now we have to make him do life-threatening things for us. As repayment. Apuna and his group have been enveloped in an aesthetic light. Apuna and his group have increased their HP by one point. A strange mechanical noise echoes from somewhere. He 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 Oh. This is nice. <laughs> I know I know we can handle I know we could hang handle the Colonel Crab, because we fought the Colonel Crab before. <gasps> Crap. Oh well. We'll just heal up after this. Oh, poor Polina. I 
Good thing I healed up. Still not enough for her, though. Thomas Keaton. Not as... Not as easy as, as I thought it would be. I thought it would be a lot easier, because we fought him before. I thought all repeat enemies would be a lot easier. What does Ted say? Ah, oh, Puna, hurry, get going. Ted clenches his teeth and resists. If we do a tent, it'll be a day of their suffering. That's awful. But I'd rather we do that than... Then have to lose and redo things. Long Chin, the enemy of Long Chin. Oh, I hate this enemy. This is what Crescent turned into a Long Chin monster. Ooh, the paths diverge. Oh, that's so tempting. But what's over here? Okay, so this is the right way. If that's the right way, what's over well, what's over yonder? What's over here? Vamp shell. They might as well just give us ultimate bonbon coats. A dust hole. Well thank you. Oh the <laughs> you guys are too close. Get away. Shadow of the sun. Get away. What? These guys are so much easier than... than when we fought them as bosses. Oh, look at this. Treasure. Okay. It doesn't feel like this treasure is w worth it. Except that solar coat seemed nice. But going out of our way, I think should have a lot more substantial items there, you know? Some real goodies. Okay, Joey. Young lady, Opuna, Kapuna. I'm weak. If I get stuck in an energy cocoon, my energy will probably be sucked dry and I will die. Okay, so that's a lie. Ah, shucks. I talked to Shakira. <laughs> Shakira. <laughs> Kashira. Before coming here. I told her I will not die. She really doesn't like liars. If I die, Kashira is sure to hate me for the rest of my life. Sorry, I'm just rambling. Well, it's about time I got to work. Hey, wait. When I said it's about time I got to work, you're supposed to say, okay. That way I don't get nervous. Get it right. Well, it's about time I got to work. Good. Now leave it to me. Alright. Joey. It really is a bummer that there's no healing. Except at the beginning of this dark burrow. That is so frustrating. Apuna and his group have been enveloped in an aesthetic light. Apuna and his group have increased their HP by one point. It should at least uh, re-energize us, you know? A hideous voice echoes from somewhere. Grr. So this has been four partisans so far. Oh no. No, get out of here. I don't want you. Even... Even with... All three of us against one salamander, it's still a lot. Do we have an item that just heals FP? That heals force? I need to know this. We are taking a beating from this guy. This enemy is so strong. It is ridiculous. Wow. 
3,000 experience. 3,000! Da 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 da. Joey screams and resists the pain. Oh, this is awful. Oh, Puno, we should feel absolutely guilty for this. What is. Branching paths. I don't think going backwards is very intuitive, so let's go there first. Oh my gosh, that's the final form of the rogue. The final form. Mega... Mega what? Mega what? Pachilla? Two hits. We should have dealt with that first. It's not even that strong. But it did big damage. Which way am I going? We're going this way. Because I think it's counterintuitive to go backwards. No. Oh my gosh. Mother Oct. I like enemies we can beat in one... In one party turn. Nice and easy. These guys look like... These evil fours. They look like a, like a jester's crown. Something a, like a jester would wear. Okay, this better be something good. Electric shell. Excuse me? Electric shell. What is an electric shell? Never mind. Never mind, I don't know. I have to make sure we don't end up going backwards. Okay, hello, Kashira. This is... Oh yes, this is exactly how it's seen in the simulator. This is an energy cocoon. Babushka's a coward, isn't she? Somehow she felt the need to have seven of these devices. You cannot fall to Babushka. If you strengthen your hearts, you shouldn't lose to that coward Babushka. Now, I'm off. I hope Kashira taught everyone how to deal with the energy cocoon using some of her insight from her training days as a, as a ranger. All this build up to the final boss. Opuna and his group have been enveloped in an aesthetic light. Opuna and his group have increased their power by three points. A piercing voice rings out from somewhere. E.E. -E, attack, attack. I'm curious, I wonder if the enemies would be different depending on who I choose. I would like to save my FP, but these guys... Dealing quite a bit of damage. Or lots of area of effect damage. I don't like this. These guys are moving further and further away. It's getting harder to deal with. Man, I should have saved Opuna's FP so I can use final Armageddon. These guys, what are they? Or Nyrus? Or Nyrus? They're wearing they're wearing Apuna's colors. They're the anti Apunas. If there's ever an Apuna party game, I think this should be this should become Apuna's rival. This type of this enemy type. This was also the same enemy type Opuna first fought on the ship at the beginning of the game too. So I think it's fitting.
Okay, what does Kashira say? Opuna, I'm fine. Don't lose to Babushka. I need to see my items. Is there anything that can... Just down one gulp for total body revitalization. Okay, we have items. Let's use them. It's the best time to use it. At the very end of the game. I've been hoarding it for no reason. Nice. Look at that. Looks like that's the dark bonbon. So we're heading to the end. Nikita. The last partisan. This is is a rather stimulating trap, but I hate things like this. It gives me the shivers. Talking with you is much more stimulating than this stupid trap. Well, is it time to go? I am Nikita, the Ad Queen. Compared to some of my productions, something as primitive as this device cannot dismay me. She was feeling a bit cold before, but I wonder if here at the Dark Burrow, it's warmer. You know, because of lava. This, this architecture, this, this whole machinery and stuff makes me feel like it, it would be like a very warm place. Apuna and his group have been enveloped in an aesthetic light. We have increased their health by three points. A hideous voice echoes from somewhere. What's this? The energy cocoon's energy flow is being disrupted. I, child of Tizia, is this your doing? You could have lived happily with your brother in Paradiso. This time I shall send all of you, your sister included, again to Paradiso. Have we seen this enemy before? Twin Peaks, but just one. So not very, not very intimidating. Ooh, spoke too soon. Spoke too soon because that did some good damage. Ouch. Oh, I should keep an eye on Pauline now. Because I think she's going to get knocked out. Oh, jeez. Don't hit her. Hit Opuna. Opuna can handle it. We fought two of those. Where did we fight them? But we fought two of them. Ah, uh, er, uh, er, uh, I feel okay. Well, good job. Okay, so, th so the end is there. Let's use... Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. That was, that was kind of a waste. I want... Yeah, recover full, but I want energy. I want... Oh my gosh, this is going to be awful. I think we're going to lose. We don't have, we don't have enough. We don't have enough. Do I go back then? This is embarrassing. Let's use our mineral water. Well, it's just a Puna without... Oh, I should have kept a Puna's thing. Darn it. You're finally here, Opuna. It took you longer than I thought it would. In hindsight, it would have been best to put the calorie cubes in the pocket. I must say I'm disappointed. I offered you a beautiful paradise to live in, and you left it for this dreary, painful world. It really is too bad. Goldie was very sad about that. Or perhaps it was me that saddened him. 
I have already forgotten. Old memories of, are of no worth, even memories of old past friends. And now that Goldie is reduced to is and now that Goldie is reduced to trying to protect that small and insignificant intelligent sea. But that too shall end. Well, let us go. I shall escort you to a world of happiness. Wait, Eisel, you don't you do not need to dirty your hands with these. I will do away with these children once and for all. No, let me, Babushka. I believe that this is their wish as well. Now come. You who have defiled my world, come to your fate. Oh, bonbon bon caught. That's awful. Oh, come on. So the, is this gonna be the fight? Not being able to hit Izo because he they keep catching our bonbons. Oh. Everyone needs to heal like right now. This is, this is a bit annoying. Stop catching my bonbon. Oh, Puna, if only you had final bonbon. to do a bit of aiming here. I don't know how to aim it with Kapuna. So maybe I shouldn't bother. Oh! Eisel's down! You learned something. Yes. This is gonna be annoying if... <laughs> if they're gonna keep catching my bonbons. What is this? I can't lose. Did this really happen? You've lost, Eisel. Is this real? Mother. Oh my gosh, his energy is gone. And there's two crescents. What is this? Ho ho ho, what a waste. That is why I told him that I would do away with you. Isa was after just a sage, a fragment born to that Criola. Isa was after all just a sage. He could not even conceive of the power I possess now. Welcome, little ones. How would you like your lullaby? Scorching heat or blades of ice? Ho ho ho. This is the final boss. Final boss, Babushka. Inside her... Bonbon... Looking... Device. Well, we're gonna heal up. We're gonna top everyone off. Oh, that's a bit annoying. That does no damage. That does no damage as well. Okay. This is troublesome. This is annoying. <laughs> Defeat her. It can't be over. What is happening? Okay, phase two. We're 
gonna top ourselves off. I think this phase, this phase seems a lot more manageable than the first phase. Oh gosh. Well, we're not doing as much damage as I would like. But we're hitting her more consistently. And that's what I want. Double high all, okay. Thank goodness everyone knows. Everyone knows how to fight. Or heal. Both! It's a good thing everyone knows how to do all of this. This is the third phase. Oh, we still hit her. Nice. I want your ghost ring to work, Polina. If your ghost ring works, I believe we can win. Take our bonbons. It feels like we're really, <laughs> we're really hitting her hard. Just seeing the impact it has on her. Oh my gosh. Stop. Stop. Stop hitting me. This is ridiculous. What is this? Do I have to just destroy you? Oh, come on! This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Stop it. Just attack the energy shells. No, no, no. I don't understand this part. This part isn't making sense to me. Oh, come on. <laughs> This is frustrating. That's one down. Just a constant barrage. I'm constantly moving. Oh, stop. This is mean. Okay, I'm gonna aim my bonbon. Just gonna wait and aim so I hit it and not waste any any moves. And wait. Okay, this is it's doing better. Doing better. This was I don't like this part of a fight. Just absolute insanity. Not knowing how to deal with it. Here we are. Final hit. We've done it. We've defeated Babushka. What is this? This warm light. Babushka, I'm sorry I couldn't save you, but you don't have to suffer anymore. Their holy force has saved your soul. Babushka, Shagla, I must beg your forgiveness. No, perhaps this was for the best. Even sages have weaknesses. It is time for a new world to be born. Now let us go. The planet no longer needs us. 
Thank you, Apuna. I am truly sorry for all of this. Farewell. Does this mean Shagla has also passed on? Apuna, Kapuna, and Polina have defeated the Dark Force. However, their joy is tempered with sadness. Upon returning to report, they were informed by Criola that Shagla had passed away. The following night was quiet. Peace had visited Landrol at last. But one mother had lost two sons. Aizel, son and older brother, and Shagla, the younger brother. The funeral of these two great sages took place quietly at the faraway village of Fonthine, and Apuna and his family prepared to return to Tizia. Wake up! Apuna, wake up! It's like a repeat. We're back at the beginning. It was all a dream! You're finally awake. Did you oversleep and forget where you are? That was that was some dream, right? Wow, crazy. We're on the spaceship heading for home. But of course, you always sleep at moments like this. We're almost to Tizia. It's been a long time since I slept in my own bed. Anyway, I came to tell you that Dina is calling for you. Dad is flying the ship, so you have to go to the cockpit. Newly developed capsule bed, soft and pleasant, even in space. Still, it doesn't look like you'll be able to get back to sleep now. Oh, we can't use our hoverboard. And all the dogs. Well, not all of them. G-Bone. Poing. Full bar. Stick. Bean Sebastian What about Chappie? The Shine Company restored the ship back to exactly the same as it was before the cla crash. After all, this ship is the commemoration of Dad becoming a Startisian. Anyway, hurry and go see Dad. Oh, by the way, Uncle Roydman brought the new puppies, brought the puppies from our room. Dad was against it, but Polina started to scream and wouldn't stop, so he gave in. I must say, this is a new height for Sis's selfishness. Huh. An emergency escape pod. Not that you'd ever want to have to use it or anything. It's, it's kind of funny that we're seeing the exact same thing being written. Good morning, Apuna. Thank you for all of your help on Landroll. You don't need training from us anymore. From now on, we fight together, as friends. Hey, Apuna. When did you wake up? Only a little while till Tizia. I'm very happy that Captain Tadina and Assistant Captain Mamina are okay. Talk to the Dina. Oh, Roidman! Hey, Apuna, we're almost to Tizia. I'm truly impressed. Those spoiled little, I mean, you children have accomplished some amazing things. When we return to Tizia, I'm gonna brag about you. Ha ha ha. That's right, I forgot to tell you something important. All of your Partisians said hi. All of them fought to the end. Not a single one fell. They're true friends to you. Maybe someday you'll see them again. For example, Make sure you record the journey on that monitor there. Oh, and keep all this stuff secret from your father. Very nice, we have now saved. Hello, Mamina. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, Puna, you're awake. I had no idea this trip would take so long, but your dad is really happy it happened this way. You kids have grown marvelously. But don't forget, you're still kids. Stay Mamina's sweet little boy for a little longer, okay, Opuna? Okay, Dina, I am here. Opuna, you are a Tizian, and are born with the responsibility of keeping peace with the in the universe. 
This trip helped you understand that, right? You did fantastic, Apuna. You have made your father proud. From now on, be proud of being a Tizian. If you do so, the holy energy will still guide you. Well, shall we jump into super light speed and go home? Great, let's test out the skills of the Shine Company. Here we go, Apuna. You should buckle your seatbelts, Apuna, or you're gonna fall like last time. Tatizia! And there we have it. The end of the game, the credits. So Puna was a game, and I'm glad I played through it. I was just, I was just thinking of this game randomly. And then I saw a message on Reddit saying apparently this game is selling a lot more than when you would buy it before. I used to buy, I bought mine at a, at a bargain bin and um, or, you know, those bins where they sell things at cheaper prices, right? I kept seeing it, and I, I just got tempted to try it out. And I played it. I beat it. But I would say this is by far the most um, thorough I've played a Puno. Can I do it better next time? Yeah, for sure. So there's still more to to explore in this world of Opuna. I would say Opuna, for its genre, is a very good um, entry into into JRPGs. For the most part, uh, some criticisms of it would be that at times you can get kind of complicated and makes me wonder is it a good fit for like a younger audience lots of dialogue and if you're not paying attention you can easily miss uh, chunks of the game I mentioned this before but Joseph's uh, sand weasel side quest if you don't finish it the first time you're at Blue Desert, you have to wait until until you're a three-rank ranger to go back to it. And by then, you'd have missed, you know, the mines and um, the mountains of Artiella. You'd have missed those rocks there, and then you'd have to backtrack and do it. Quite a bit of backtracking in this game. The side quests are fun. It's, it's a nice distraction from the main quest it's just frustrating when the two instances where side quests are very important are for the attendant job and for getting the seamaster license which takes quite a while and i would think someone would get blindsided by that good luck thank you apuna and would have to really backtrack quite a lot to to get to the to this end stage of the game and that's tough you know i'm just gonna leave it on the menu here because i want to finish off my train of thought so yeah the attendant job it's the first time it introduces you about side jobs so that's that's okay it's not too hard to miss eventually you'll get bored of tra traveling and defending the mines and then you'd end up talking to people and and then you'd find out oh okay i have to do this this side quest and go somewhere else this will progress the story but for getting to the dark burrow it would be awful to to get to the end and then to be told that you need a master 
you need a Seamaster's license. You need the highest license for Seamaster to get to the end of the game. There was no indication of that until one point close to the end. And then people would groan and say, oh, okay, so that means I have to go back to Lifeborn, fish, get the fishing rod by fishing, fishing, uh, fishing 50 times, then getting the Orcofin's favorite food, feeding the Orcofin, and then you have to catch Legend, which that wasn't exactly the funnest thing. It would have been better if that was more implemented into the main quests rather than feel as though a side thing that was optional but it turns out was mandatory required the the day concept day 101 that's a nice number nice number to end it off and that's I have mixed feelings about. I think it's cool that there's some sort of progression of time in the game. And uh, you can watch different, different things every day up to a certain point. It's just for someone who wants to get more out of the game, I feel as though the day system starts to have diminishing returns where you have to go to a bed, come back to a certain area, watch the show, go to bed, come back to a certain area, watch the show, or go to bed. Um, go play the ukulele, go to bed, go play the ukulele. The ukulele mission, or the ukulele, the optional ukulele um, license, I find that is that highlights the worst of the day system. Because it seems a bit ridiculous to have to spend 50 days to to get to to get that entire ukulele experience, license experience. I would think a normal playthrough of this game would not need 50 days, like normally playing it naturally and coming back to the ukulele place naturally as you play along in this game. It feels like you have to go out of your way to to really keep the days going to be able to get that far. I had fun with this. It was great highlighting a game, showing gameplay of a game that isn't really shown much in the world. I thought it was really surprising. I definitely see myself improving in some ways, like two step forwards, one step back with this whole commentary process. Flubbing up words, well, you know, after a day of work. Not exactly 100%, but it's all good, right? It's, it's just me reading, people can read if they want. It's just fun. I hope someone out there enjoyed Opuna or enjoyed looking and learning more about this game. This came out in 2007, maybe 2008 if we're pushing it, or if I'm completely wrong about 2007, and then 10 years later Opuna showed up again. Maybe we'll see Opuna again in the future. I just find it a shame that a game that is based on motion controls can no longer be played because motion controls aren't really used elsewhere other than VR. Oh. Looks like looks like we've lost connection. But I will say if they find a way of putting the controls to to a controller where you can use the the sticks to aim the bomb on, then I think this game would easily be ported over to other consoles or even PC.
Well, it looks like that's all I have to say. Again, hope you enjoyed Apuna, and we'll see whatever I play next. Bye now.